Hi Kawan, welcome to EDC Ready. Today we are doing another unboxing and it is a knife brand that starts with Q. But before that, a little context to why I got this knife. So uh, this knife, or these two knives you can see here have two very distinct features. The first of which is this guy. Uh, this guy is the uh, 10 gram Santa Fe. It's just a really great like three and a quarter inch uh, blade length knife. It is a nice liner lock with G10 scales, very easy to take apart. We have T8 screws here, here and here. A nice deep carry pocket clip right there which I really enjoy. Overall just a nice uh, easy to maintain, easy to use knife. On the other end of the spectrum, I have this guy. This is currently one of my fave, if not my number one favorite in my knife collection right now. This is the Native 5 Salt. And this guy, a couple of things that it has going for it is that it has amazing ergonomics. It has also the same uh, level of ease of disassembly with T8 screws here, here, and here. And not a deep carry pocket clip, which I do not enjoy. It has a nice uh, three inch uh, blade here with a nice finger trowel. But the best thing about this knife is that it is part of Spyderco's salt series, which means that this knife is nigh impervious to uh, rust and then you can just carry this by the ocean, use it with seawater and I've seen this guy like survive weeks or uh, like a week's worth of testing in salt water. So uh, these two are some of my favorite beater knives. What happens if you were to mix these two together and form a knife? Well, the answer to that is the knife that I'm going to be unboxing today. Uh, it starts with Q and as far as I know, there's only one knife out there that starts with Q, which is a quiet carry. This is the box it comes in. It also comes with a nice little Q sticker, which I do enjoy. And it has this thing. Uh, this is, I believe, a microfiber cloth to uh, wipe your blade down. Yep, this is a nice little slim satin finish, quiet carry uh, microfiber cloth thing. Okay, so let's get on to the knife. We have here a Q, quiet carry, and as you can see here, what is that? That is the symbol of a quiet carry waypoint, in this case in a G10 and OD Green stone wash. So without further ado, let's take this guy apart. This is genuinely the first time I'm opening it. I just got this from, uh, from the delivery guy downstairs and there we go. Let's see now, what does it say here? It says here, thank you for your purchase. Limited lifetime warranty. Your warranty is simple. We guarantee all our products against defects from the original owner. Uh, I am the original owner. If you find uh, an issue under normal use, we will repair it or replace your quiet carry product. Be sure to keep your knife clean, oiled, and sharp. So it does uh, encourage us to uh, keep, uh, keep it clean and maintain it. So that's good. And then here we go. The anticlimactic because I can't fold this all the way back, but that is the knife. We have here the quiet carry waypoint in OD green. Okay, let's uh, have a little bit of a first impression. Now, uh, as per my understanding, just to take up my bit kit, all the screws should be T8, which I will check right now. This guy goes in. Yes, that is a T8. However, my T8 screw is a little bit, uh, you can see there my T8 bits are a little bit uh, worn out. So it does have a bit of a wiggle. Can it fit a T9? Let's see if it can. Oh, T9 does bite a little bit. Now one thing I have noticed online is that the screws tend to be a little bit shallow. Uh, it is definitely not that shallow, but uh, it's definitely shallower than some of the screws that I'm used to. The back screws here, which you only need to uh, take out this screw to take it apart, it's also T8. Very nice, you take apart the uh, clip screws with a T8 as well. So very nice. I really enjoy that. You have a, a little a wire clip here. It's kind of similar to a bunch of spider coats uh, like this guy. This is the Para 3 Lightweight. It has a wire clip as well. Very nice, very deep carry. You can go all the way up to there, which is very nice. I do enjoy that. You have a nice G10 texturing. Now you do have cheaper forms of G10, which I already showed you. Uh, this guy, this is the Santa Fe. Uh, the G10 is, uh, I. they're definitely G10, but it's just a little bit smoother. But that's probably because I had this for a lot longer and it has smoothed out over time. Uh, this feels more akin to the Para 3 like G10 where there's a little bit more grip. However, just a little bit smoother than the Para 3 or the PM2 G10. All right, you have the nice uh, four dots here on both sides. You have nice thumb studs here. And now let's check out the action. Now, I believe these are running on washers. Yeah, washers on both sides. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, it's nice. 
All right, so let's check out the finishing here. We have here a nice stone wash, and it does feel very nice. It has a nice matte finish, uh, unlike something more akin to a satin wash or whatever. But it is a stone wash, so you kind of see that it does have some nice texturing on it. And the best thing, in my opinion, about a stone wash is that it really knocks down the edges of the uh, the tops of the knife here. Now, it is chamfered around the top of the knife here, which is very nice. Uh, but it also has that feeling of roundedness from the stone wash, just smoothing, smoothing out those edges. Jimping, uh, you have some nice textures, but it's not over, over sharp. Uh, unlike the Spyderco ones, they tend to be a little bit sharp, like this guy right here. This, uh, this definitely peaks up a lot more, and the corners there are a little bit sharper. This guy, just nice, and then it's also chamfered around the edges. You have some nice uh, lock bar relief right here, so you can get to the lock bar quite simply. No texture on the lock bar. Just keep that in mind. Action is really good. I really like the detent. It just pops out. It's a little bit rough coming out of the factory. Let's see if I can uh, spidey flick this or reverse flick it. Hmm. Okay, I can thumb flick it no problem, but to reverse flick it. Hmm. Let's see now. I gotta get the right angle. Can I use my left hand? Hmm. I'm seeing a problem. Okay, I, I need some practice and the reason behind that is because there's a bit more scalloping on this side of the uh, of the thumb studs that allow me to have a nicer access to the thumb studs itself. But on the reverse here, because it doesn't have this recess here to get to the lock bar more easily, uh, it's definitely a lot closer to the face of the G10. Let me try it one more time. There we go. Try it one more time. Try it one more time. There we go, got it. Okay, so I just gotta learn how to do it properly. Lock up here is right around 40%. As you can see there, it's right around 40%. Very nice. Uh, no texturing on here, uh, unlike some knives, but it's not really a big deal. A lot of other knives don't have that kind of texturing on the lock bar relief. All in all, uh, you have these uh, liners inside here that is uh, nice and smooth. Also rounded on the inside, which I do appreciate. Sometimes uh, the insides of those liners can get pretty sharp. I don't have an example here, but sometimes they can kind of forget to uh, round out those edges a little bit. So, uh, yeah, I know, it just does feel quite nice. Ergonomically, very nice in hand. You have this nice little finger groove that, uh, that slips, that your finger slips into the groove quite well. Very nice ergonomically, very grippy. Uh, I can feel a little bit of a hot spot here but uh, I don't think I'll be using this to carry it. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I, I don't think I'll be uh, using this enough to fill the hot spot because I'm not cutting for long hours during the day. All right, so that's it. That is the uh, Quiet Carry Waypoint in OD Green G10 unboxing and first impressions. Um, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, do remember to subscribe and uh, share this video to anyone else who is interested in this little guy. Okay, thanks guys and stay ready.